Okay, you are here at 21 Online, video number one. This is a short tutorial that's going to help you get started and utilize all of the great and wondrous things that 21 Online has to offer. As a Century 21 agent, you and you alone have access to all of these great tools at your disposal 24 hours a day. So, first thing I want to do is let you know that um, 21 Online is available 24 hours a day. So, you want to go here just by going to www. 21online.com and you'll see a login. You've already been provided a login, so you'll put it in, username and password, and click let's go or login. So we're getting in, and then we're going to see a lot of different things that pop up. We're going to break these down one at a time in our tutorial. So the first thing I want you to notice when you log in is the biggest thing on the screen just below the Century 21, 21online.com logo is my contacts. Everybody with Century 21 has access to 21 online has a free contact manager and this is a very powerful and utilize, I guess I would say user friendly contact manager. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and add in all of your contacts. You can do that by adding them in one at a time. If you have a short list you can just put their name, first name, last name, all their contact information and their phone number as well as their email. The most important thing you need to do is to remember we, you need their name and their email. Everything else is secondary because with Century 21 My Contacts, you're going to be able to send emails automatically, which we're going to talk about in the next video. So it's important that you have as much contact information you, as you can get, but first, last name, and email are the most vital. So let's go back to our contact manager, which is on our home page. So you can add those all new or you can import them. Now a lot of people have contacts in Outlook, they have out contacts in Yahoo or Gmail, somewhere where you're using a different email editor for your contacts, that's fine because all of these programs have places where you can export them into a CSV file. That's C as in cat, S as in Sam, V as in victory. They will def they will easily export them into a CSV file for you when you go to my contacts or the contacts in your email manager. So do that and then put them all into a CSV file and then you can import them into your contact manager. So let's click import and it's going to give you the directions, very specific directions how to get this done. It says how to import contacts, read through this. What you want to get out of this mostly is that the headings on your Excel or your CSV file need to be as follows. Row ID, first name, last name, street one, two, and then city, state, postal code, phone one. They need to email address and notes. They need to be labeled this way. If you're not going to use those columns, just leave them blank. However, if you're going to use the columns, make sure you have row ID as your first column and then first name, last name. And if you only have an email address, make sure it says this, not just email, but email address because that's going to throw it off and it's not going to be able to upload if you don't do that. But fill it in directly like this. And then once you have it saved, have your CSV or your Excel file saved. You're going to browse your computer and you're going to upload that file. Once you upload that file, by clicking this button, it's going to put all of your contacts into your contact manager as you see that I have mine here. Now you have your contact, once you have them here, there's going to be a lot of things you can do with them. And now, one thing I will tell you, if you get a lead from Lead Router, which we're going to talk about in another video, it's going to automatically add that to your system. So don't be alarmed if some show up that that do that you didn't put in there, though they will be they will have a golden check like this. That means they came from Lead Router. You notice that under the Lead Router column here is a golden check. That's great because that's just one more that you didn't have to put in there. You notice there's a name and an email address because that's all that was provided. Again, that's all we need is a name and an email address to utilize this contact manager. In the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how to take your video, your excuse me, your contact manager and all your contacts and and use your eCampaign Center. So go ahead, work on getting all your contacts into one place, take them out of all of your email editors and put them into a CSV file and upload them or import them into your My Contacts and we'll talk in, in a little while about how to use your eCampaign Center. Have a great day.